Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 37 and in this video we're going to start adding elements to the DOM. <laughs> Alright then, so in the last few lessons I've been teaching you how to go into the HTML, grab elements and then change the content of them elements or change the attributes of those elements, right? Now what I want to show you how to do is create brand new elements and then put those into the HTML where you want to put them. And to do that, we have to follow two steps. Step one is to create that element in JavaScript. And when we've created that element, that's just kind of sitting around in the middle of nowhere. It's not in the document yet, right? So step two is to take that element we've created in JavaScript and push it into the HTML where we want to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. So first things first, where are we gonna put a new element? Well. I've chosen this navigation right here. I've decided that currently it's got three links. I want a fourth. I want a link to a blog, right? So to do that, I'm gonna to have to insert a new li element right here at the bottom, and then after, or within that, sorry, a new a tag, okay? So let's create those elements. Now to create a new element, we're gonna store them in variables. So I'll say var new li equals document, and then the method that we use to create a new element is simply create element. Dead simple, right? And then within the brackets, we have to specify the type of element we want to create. Now we want to create an li tag, so I'll just type li and then press enter. That there, my friends, has created a new li tag. So if I call that now, new li, there it is. It's empty, nothing in it, but there it is. So. Now we need to create a new a tag because that's what's inside here, right? So to do that, we'll create a new variable and we'll say new a equals document dot create element, exactly the same way we did the one above. And then this time we want an a tag. And that there has created a new a tag. So let's just call it to make sure. And there we go, cool. All right then, so we've created our new elements. The next thing we need to do is go into the HTML and pop them in where we want them to. Now, I want it to be at the bottom of this li stack right here. So to do that, I'm gonna to have to grab this ul tag and then insert it within that ul tag. And to do that, I'm gonna use a combination of get element by ID to grab this nav right here. And then within that, I'm gonna use get element by tag name to grab this UL, which is gonna return an array of one element, just this UL right here. And then once I've got that, I can insert this LI and this A tag within it. Make sense, right? Cool. So let's do that. Let's say var menu equals document dot get elements by ID. And then the ID we want is this one right here, main nav. And then within that, I'm gonna say get elements by tag name. And then we want UL, because that's gonna grab this UL right here within the main nav. And then because that's gonna return an array with only one spot in it, we can just shorten this by adding the array notation at the end here and specifying we want the zeroth position within that array. And that there, my friends, is gonna to return to us the menu UL, like that, okay? Cool, so now we've got that, we can start adding the new elements to it, which is step two. So the way we do that is called the menu variable we've just created, dot, and then we say append child. That is the method name, okay? And what we're saying is append a new child to this menu item that we've got here. Append a new element, right? And the element we want to append to that menu is this li, new li. So let's do that. Cool, it's added this fourth li tag right on the end there. Okay, so currently there's nothing in this li tag, so what we need to do is append this a tag that we created to that li tag, right? Because the a tags are within the li tag. So let's do that. We'll grab new li, which is the li tag we've just created and put in here, and we'll say we want to append a child to that, append child, and the child we want to append to that is this new a, the a tag. Right there, like that. And that there should insert the a tag right between the li tags, cool. All right, so the only thing missing now is the text between these a tags. And I'm just gonna simply use inner HTML to do that. I'm gonna say new a dot inner HTML equals blog, just like that. 
and right there we should see blog. Now it's not shown up here because the CSS is controlling the height of this menu but if I inspect that element, go to the UL, um, the main nav, it's got height 200 pixels, if I say auto then it should show right there, we've inserted that blog link at the bottom. Um, we could go in and we could use set attribute to give this a href attribute so it's actually got a link to somewhere. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, I just want you to know how to insert elements. Alright, so what if we wanted to insert an li tag at the top? We don't want to insert it you know, right down here at the bottom, we want to insert it at the top or somewhere else. Well, we can use another method and that's called insert before. All right. So how do we do that? Well, same again, we want to insert it within this menu. So we call the method on this menu. We'll say menu dot insert before, and then this takes two parameters, okay? The first parameter is gonna be the new item that we want to insert. Again, we don't need quotations, sorry. And the new item is gonna be new li, all right? And then after that, we have to specify another parameter and this is the parameter that we want to insert our new element before all right and that my friends is going to be before this one right here so i'm going to say insert that before menu dot get elements by tag name and that's going to grab all these li tags right it's going to return an array of those li tags all there and i want it before the zeroth position Okay, so I want it before the first one. So let's try that, let's call it. And this time you can see we're gonna get an li right at the top which says blog, okay? It's taking it back out here because this element, this new li was the one that was here. So it's taken it, removed it and put it right at the top over there instead. All right guys, so that is how we insert new elements into our HTML. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll answer any questions you ask. Otherwise, if you enjoyed these videos, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to look at how we can remove items from the HTML.